becoming one with nature, and you know, we have a lot of technology now, and it's nice to kind of get away from that a little bit. Jen Chirosnik is the owner of Sportsman's in Bantam. Snowshoeing is something that anyone can do any age. As long as you can walk and talk, you can snowshoe. There's different terrain, so if you want to challenge yourself, you can do more hills, you can do deeper snow. But it's not like a ski boot, it's just... It's not a ski boot. You're going to want to use a snow boot or a winter hiker, which is basically just a hiking boot that's insulated. Beyond the beautiful views, you're also going to get quite the workout. And it's fun. You could do it as a whole family, you could do it with friends. It's a great way to get out and enjoy snow in the cold in the winter. And the best part here, we're color coordinated. Oh, look Maroon, at you. Right? Hey. I knew. We're awesome. Ready. A traditional snowshoe is going to give you more flow on the snow. So I always find this more fun to blaze the trail. You're still going to sink down a little bit, but you're not going to go all the way through. You're not going to find you're down in your knees. So I'm going to keep you floating above the snow. There's little crampons underneath the bottom of the shoes, and they're like little spikes that dig into the icy surfaces. You can rent the shoes at the shop for just 20 bucks a day. We're lucky to live here where we have White Memorial that has over 2,000 acres of trails. There's tons of places to take your shoes, and you can see something new every day. Just in case you were wondering, you probably shouldn't trek into public establishments. I don't wear them grocery shopping. Stop and Shop does not look kindly on that. <laughs> for Cruise in Connecticut, I'm Ryan Christopher, News 8. It's a good little cardio workout there mm, as yeah, well. Yeah, it looks like Welcome it.